Hi guys, today I'm sharing with you eight casserole recipes. I love casseroles, so these are eight of my favorite. They're so easy. I love just having everything in one pan and dinner is ready. You can make these ahead of time earlier in the day, or you can make them even the night before, which makes dinner really easy, which I love. If you've been around my channel, you know I love easy recipes. If you're new to my channel, make sure you click subscribe and the bell button next to subscribe so you get a notification when I post new videos. All right, I am gonna cook up some delicious casseroles for you. I hope you love them. I will list them all in the description box as well. So let's get cooking. First, I am making a Dorito taco casserole. So I'm browning some ground beef. I have one pound and I'm just breaking it up with my little meat masher. Once it's cooked all the way through, I'm going to drain the grease off whichever way you'd like, but I like to kind of let it all go to one side and then I kind of mop it all up with a paper towel. So getting all that grease out, we definitely don't want all that grease into our casserole dish. So this is the easiest way for me, super easy. It just cleans all that grease up. So now that the ground beef is cooked, I'm adding in half of a diced onion. I have a packet of taco seasoning and we just use this mild taco seasoning, but if you want a little bit extra spice, you can use a spicy one. I'm doing diced tomatoes with green chilies. Again, really mild. Uh, you can definitely add some diced tomatoes with jalapenos as well if you'd like to spice it up. I've got a can of black beans that I'm going to wash out. I have a can of corn that I will drain before I add in. And I am going to mix this together, just mix everything up. We love Tex-Mex kind of Southwest type flavored dishes. This one is really, really awesome. I am adding in half a cup of Fiesta blend cheese and I have three quarters of a cup of sour cream. I'm gonna mix these two together with the ground beef mixture. Really, just really yummy. This could even be kind of a skillet meal if you didn't want to add the Doritos on top to make the full on casserole that I'm gonna make um, because it's really good just kind of all mixed together. But I am adding all the mixture into my Pyrex. I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees. So I'm just adding all that in. I'm gonna top with some more Fiesta blend cheese. It isn't a yummy, delicious casserole if it is not topped with a bunch of cheese. Uh, definitely, I think that's probably one of the reasons I love casseroles so much because I really love cheese. I am adding on some crushed Doritos and I don't normally keep Doritos in the house because we would just eat them all the time. Um, but we had these little bags from a picnic that we had. So I'm going to cook this in the oven for about 35 to 45 minutes. Comes out absolutely delicious. The next casserole I'm making is a chicken lasagna. I have these oven ready lasagna noodles. They are really, really easy. Cream of mushroom soup. I have a can of diced pimentos, a can of sliced olives, and I have another cream of mushroom, two cans for this one. I have shredded Parmesan cheese. I have rotisserie chicken. You could use any kind of cooked chicken. I have an onion and I have sour cream. This casserole is so good. My mom made it all the time growing up and I love to make it as well. So I'm going to mix everything into my bowl really easy. I mean, casseroles are pretty easy. You just kind of mix everything up and dump it into the Pyrex dish and you have a really awesome dinner. So that's why I love casseroles so much. So I'm adding in my two cans of cream mushroom, half a cup of sour cream. I have half of my diced onion. I have half a cup of the shredded Parmesan cheese. And then I'm gonna add in all of the sliced olives and all of the pimentos as well. I will give this a nice stir and mix everything all together. Like these flavors together are really, really good. And like I said, I have rotisserie chicken, but you can use any kind of chicken you'd like. You can do poached chicken or any kind of cooked chicken. It goes great in this. 
So I'm just gonna add the chicken in and combine it with the delicious sauce. So I'm using these oven ready lasagna noodles. You can use regular lasagna noodles and cook them first, but these you do not have to cook, which is so convenient. You just put them in as if they were already cooked. They cook with the liquids of the casserole. So very, very easy. I sprayed my pan with some cooking spray and then I'm laying down the noodles. I will lay down the mixture, the chicken mixture. And then I'll put some more noodles, some more mixture, and then it'll have nice layers, just like a lasagna, but a chicken version. So you definitely can't go wrong with any kind of lasagna recipes. They are all so, so good. I'm gonna top with the remaining chicken mixture. It just needs just a little bit spread over the noodles. Then I will top with some shredded cheddar cheese. So about one and a half cups of shredded cheddar cheese on top. My oven is preheated to 350 degrees. So I'm going to cook this for 35 to 45 minutes. It is a huge hit in our family. We absolutely love this one. Abs so, so delicious. So for this one, I'm going to make a pizza casserole, but it's gonna be low carb. I love to do mix in some low carb um, casseroles and some meals. So I have cauliflowered rice that so just steam in the bag, and I'm gonna use my no sugar added pasta sauce. So I'm gonna put just a layer, not too thick of a layer, a little bit goes a long way with um, kind of like pizza or pasta sauces. So I'm just adding a thin layer of sauce and then I will add on my mozzarella cheese. And this you can add any of your favorite pizza toppings. I'm gonna add pepperoni, um, bell pepper, and some mushrooms. You can add olives or anything that you like on kind of a combination type pizza. You can do some cooked sausage, um, anything you'd like and just layer it up. And I'm gonna add, once I have my toppings on, I'm gonna add a little bit more. I'm gonna do some grated Parmesan cheese on top, and then this will cook in the oven for about 30 minutes. It is really good, such a great low carb way to have some pizza if you're craving pizza, but you definitely don't want all of the carbs and the calories that come with it. This is a really, really awesome option and super easy as well. So just add on whatever you like on your pizzas. So this one is going to be a crack chicken casserole version. I make this um, often in the crock pot as well, but I have cooked chicken or cooked bacon. I have cooked chicken as well. This is two um, poached chicken breasts, cream cheese. I have ranch, broccoli, cheddar cheese as well. So I have my cream cheese, my mayonnaise and sour cream. So I'm just gonna add all of that to the bowl and I'm going to add a tablespoon of my ranch seasoning mix. You don't need to use the whole packet. It's The whole packet is kind of a lot for this recipe. It'd be very ranch flavored. So um, if you wanna just keep it on the mild side, one tablespoon is great in this. So once I have that in, I will mix this up and it is such a great sauce. I mean, casseroles are so yummy with all of their sauces and so i'm just going to mix it all together 
and it will be great on top of the chicken, the broccoli, the bacon, just such great combos. So I just steamed my broccoli and these um, comes just in the steamer bag ready to go, so convenient. I have my cooked bacon and I chopped it up into small pieces and just bacon and anything is always a huge hit in my house for sure. I'm gonna add the sauce on now. It's just nice and creamy and once everything gets all heated and cooked in the casserole dish and with the sauces just make it just really a good comfort food and just very yummy. I love making casseroles because they make a big batch and so we can save some for lunch the next day. A lot of the time I can freeze some if we have a lot of leftovers. So I just love making casseroles. <laughs> so I'm gonna, this is so, so good and really easy as well. This next casserole is going to be um, a Fiesta chicken. It has bell peppers, and I'm going to make a sauce, kind of a fiesta sauce. I have cream cheese and sour cream. Lots of casseroles have so many different creams in them, cream, uh, cream of mushroom soup, cream of chicken soup, sour cream. So I'm gonna add into these, I'm gonna do a, fi a fajita seasoning packet. Um, really good, you can do your own fajita seasonings as well, but I just love convenience. You know that if you've been around my channel. So mixing that all together is really, this is an awesome flavor. I have my two cooked chicken breasts. I have my cooked bell pepper, just sprinkling it throughout nice and evenly. And then I'm gonna add on the sauce and this sauce is really, really good for sure. So I'm just gonna do a layer of this sauce over the chicken and bell pepper. I'll top with some cheddar cheese and I'm gonna bake this in the oven for about 35 minutes and it is another huge crowd pleaser in our house. I'm going to do kind of a low carb lasagna I have a kind of like a low carb chicken lasagna. I have my no sugar added sauce that I always use. It's really good. And I'm gonna make a lasagna filling with some ricotta cheese. So I have the ricotta cheese. I have half a cup of shredded Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna mix these two together until they're combined. I'm gonna add in my chicken on the bottom of my casserole dish. I'm gonna add in some defrosted frozen spinach. I'm gonna do a nice little thin layer over the top of the chicken. I love spinach with ricotta cheeses and Parmesan cheeses. It's just really great combo. So this one is so yummy and nice and low carb as well, which I always love that. So I'm adding in the ricotta mixture on top of that. And anything kind of lasagna related, you can tell that I really like anything lasagna related. I'm gonna add the sauce on next. I'm just gonna pour it over the cheese mixture and then spread it out into a nice layer. I'm gonna add on some mozzarella cheese and this one is delicious. My oven's preheated to 350 degrees and I'll cook this one for about 35 minutes and it is a huge hit. I love this casserole. It is a green bean casserole like you would have like for Thanksgiving, but I'm adding chicken to it to make it just a really good dinner casserole. So I have my two poached chicken breasts that I have diced up. I am going to um, just spread that out evenly into my baking dish. I have two cans of green beans, so I will drain them, drain all the liquid out before I put them into my dish, but two cans of green beans. You can use fresh green beans if you'd like. I am going to do, I have 
two cans of cream of mushroom. So however you would normally make your green bean casserole for Thanksgiving, it's exactly the same, just with the chicken to make it have some more protein and make it a really good dinner combo. I love casseroles when they have a protein and a veggie. It is just a whole meal in one. You don't have to make a bunch of side dishes. It's just everything combined, which I definitely love that. I'm gonna top with some mozzarella cheese. And then for the end topping, I'm gonna add on the crispy fried onions, which I absolutely love little crispy fried onions. They have so, so much flavor. So they're so good. So I'm gonna add those on top of this before I cook it. I'm gonna cook it at 350 for about 35 minutes. And this one, it's a hit as well. These are all my favorites. So they're on repeat at our house, but this one is so good with the crispy fried onions. Delicious. So I'm going to do an enchilada casserole for this one. It's low carb as well, which I love. So I have my sour cream, I have heavy whipping cream, I have a diced green chilies, which is just, I love diced green chilies in so many different things. Casseroles, dips, they're just, they're just awesome. I definitely always have cans of these in the pantry. Um, I'm gonna add in uh, some onion seasoning, some, um, chili powder and some ground cumin as well and it's gonna give this such a kick like just a good enchilada flavoring to this and super simple and low carb as well so you can always add if you'd like a side of rice to any of these casseroles that are low carb or a side of noodles as well so I have the chicken, I have the mixture. I'm gonna put that on top. I will top with some cheddar cheese as well and cook this in the oven for 35 to 45 minutes. What I love about casseroles is that I can make this during the day before dinner and then put it in for dinner time to cook it all the way through. So I just love anything that I can make ahead of time. It just saves me um, just time in the kitchen. I can spend more time with the family. This one is so, so yummy. So I hope that you enjoyed these casseroles. They're all my favorite. Make sure you click subscribe to my channel for lots more cooking videos and meal planning motivation. Have a really great rest of your day and I'll see you next time.